Hello everybody, welcome to today's Sermon on the Go. Today's Sermon on the Go is from the Gospel of Matthew. Matthew chapter 6 verses 33. Let's hear the reading of God's word. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, the background to this story is uh, Jesus is giving his sermon on the mount. So what I've just read to you forms part of the sermon on the mount, which is from Matthew chapter 5 to Matthew chapter 7. And here Jesus is saying, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will be added unto you. Jesus have already spoken about not worrying about your life, what you will eat or what you will wear or what you will drink. Jesus also talks about the birds of the air. The birds of the air don't go to work. They don't pay bills. They don't store things in storage. They don't cook. But our Heavenly Father looks after them. He also says that we should consider the flowers. The actual word used there is lilies. Consider the lilies. He says that they just grow. The flowers of the field, the lilies, the green grass, trees, they just grow. He goes on to say that if God clothes the grass of the field, which today is here and tomorrow is thrown into the oven. Will he not clothe you or look after you? Then he says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. So first of all, Jesus speaks about you shouldn't worry about what you will eat and what you will wear. He says, consider the birds of the air. They don't work, but God looks after them. Consider the flowers. They just grow, the trees, the grass. They just grow. How much more you that is a human being, that you were created in his image. God created you in his own image. So if God created you in his image, then he will provide for you. What you need to do on your part is that you seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things that you are worrying about shall be provided for you. Here, Christians are urged to seek and pursue above all things the kingdom of God and its righteousness. To seek here implies to be continually or constantly in a search for something or making an intense or persistent effort to obtain something. To seek here means that you are continually seeking for God. You are in constant and persistently seeking for God. So when we think about seeking God, three things are important. It means that we need to lay the right foundations. It means that we have to pray intentionally. And it means that we have to pursue God and his purposes. Laying the right foundations means that we have a routine of Bible study. Seeking God will include that you study the Bible critically and carefully. Seeking God includes studying the Bible and having a daily communion with God having a daily devotion with God. Seeking God includes praying intentionally after your daily devotion with God, after your biblical studies with God. You pray intentionally before God. Have a pattern of prayer in your life. If you are not a Christian and you are listening to me today, how do you go about seeking God? Where the first step for you will be in Romans chapter 10 verses 9. 
if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Once you take this first step, you have to daily continually seek Christ. You have to daily continually seek God in the reading of the scriptures, in the studying of the Bible, continually and persistently seek God in the Holy Scriptures. You pray intentionally. Pray for God to direct your life. Pray for God to direct your path. Pray for God to provide all things that you need in your life. When you've done these two things, God will reveal himself to you and he shall provide all your needs according to his riches and glory. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Friends, if life is battering you, if you are struggling in life, if life has not been fair on you, if you are going through hardship, challenges, problem, worry, anxiety, come to God with all of those things. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all those things that you are carrying will be taken away from you because God will provide all of your needs according to his riches and glory. God says that if you seek him first, if you seek his kingdom, if you seek his righteousness, then every other thing will be provided. It shall be given to you freely. You will not have to work for it. As long as you seek God and his righteousness, as long as you, you seek his kingdom and his righteousness, as long as you seek God daily in your life, as long as you pursue the righteousness of God, as long as you believe in God, God will provide all your needs. God will give you all the things that you require to have a successful life. All you have to do is to seek God and his righteousness. Seek his kingdom and his righteousness and all those things shall be provided for you. If you don't believe in God, if you don't believe in the existence of God, if you don't believe in Jesus Christ, I invite you to submit to Christ. I invite you to confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart that he was raised from the dead by God. When you do that, you will be saved. Your name will be written in the book of life. You will become part of the biggest family on the face of the earth, the Christian family. When your name is written in the book of life, everything that you need in your life in order to have a successful living, everything you need in order to have a successful marriage, everything you need for your children to be successful in all their endeavors, will be provided for you. God will protect you. God will guide you. Jesus will lead you in all paths of righteousness as you submit to his lordship, as you submit to his kingdom, as you submit to his rulership. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. If you don't know Jesus, I recommend Jesus to you I introduce Jesus Christ, the son of the living God to you. When you meet that man, every hopeless situation in your life will, will be turned around for the good. Every troubling circumstances in your life will be changed for the better and your life will be successful. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I shall see you on Thursday. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>